Once I was a child of the earth who knew the joy of barefoot percussion, of the sticky wet marriage of water and dirt and the mud pie deliciousness of imagination, only a hop and a skip away from the feeling of home, from love that I always held in my heart no matter the wilderness abound. My curiosity was a dandelion seed set adrift, rolling and riding the riptide of a breeze, determined to grow wherever I landed, wild and free, like a deep breath in the old growth of forest of eternity. I was four years old the first time I survived. Pulled abruptly from my path, I lost my way over time. The violence began to pile up and I laid down like worn wooden slats, holding myself together to be a path strong enough to be walked on without so much as a sigh from the trees or the dreams that fell in this forest. I couldn't see where I was going on this man-made path I did not make, in a vessel that I did not shape. This body, this frame, this gender, this name, this race, this face, isn't me, all given. This shame, this blame, this take, this rape, why can't I keep myself safe? Why did this happen to me? This is the world we live in. This hate, this decay, this misplaced pieces of me, am I okay? Who am I now, I heard myself say. I'm lost, not found in the forest. In this forest, surrounded by warm water songs, the sound of the falls, the birds and the wind and the banana trees and palms, tears fall. I sit, eyes closed, and feel the embrace of the ancestors whose bones are the minerals that flow down my face and over stones, healing my soul, healing until my spirit is a new day, ready to unfold. I am in a vessel that I have come to know, a moving soul, letting go of being a black woman in an oppressive world, a force of nature dancing forward, grooving to the tune of my own existence. This is a story about self-love, playing peekaboo with my purpose and hide and seek with my creativity until I found me again. This is a reunion. I am a creator channeling the beauty of bark, sitting in my love, power, and purpose, elevated by the kindness of community, adorned in the beauty of my grit and the scars of the climb, blossoming liberation for the minds of every generation to find. Whenever I miss my ancestors, I play seashell telephone. I dance and splash for the freedom we now share. I feel the push of their power and the salt of their sacrifice. I remember where we have been. I remember who we are, only a hop and a skip away from the feeling of home, from love that I always held in my heart. Now I speak fluent fir and pine. Cedar and I spend all kinds of time, I savoring the sweet susurrations of their secret lives beneath the surface. I listen to the trees whispering that the sun is worth hanging arms wide and head back for. I seek to succeed, to shine, to be seen, to radiate, to rise like the trees in this forest, for I am a child of the earth. Traveling through time, seeing in and out of focus, past to present, highways and days gone byways, we come and go and arrive. These streets we call home where we live our lives, these arterials made of parallel lines that intersect, take us coursing through community centers and flowing down country roads. If we take a ride, eyes open, not close, we can see. We can see the forest and the tree. We each have the opportunity to find in our daily motions and patterns the places where justice should move in, where freedom should become a new friend in our neighborhood, and truth, a library full of well-loved people and books with exercise spines and folded corners hugging their highlighted power lines, great volumes you can translate into energy, empathy, compassion, cooperation, and kindness. Check out the truth. There are many things that you can personally do to end oppression. This truth is something that you can understand. Do your research, unlearn, relearn, explore, expand. Draw yourself outside of the confines of your own brick and mortar. 
Measure your wingspan in lifelines whose feathered arcs allow your service to fly for lifetimes. Let today begin the rapid timeline of dismantling disparities with the courage to create true human possibility. Think beyond you to we. Think beyond you to we. Be the overlapping brushstrokes of equity, the conservators of unity, and create a purpose-filled, life-sized painting, a collective mural of a world that is done hating an expression of the healing we need to feel, an impression of what is real. A thousand words worth of ideals to improve the lives of others can be found looking into the faces of the future, the present, and the past. Think fast, now is the time. For a future that outshines history, you'll need to let your own light shine. We need you to be to lead and to inspire, to twinkle, glimmer, and gleam. We need you to help us see we are all on the same team, illuminating pathways that express ways we can learn and glow from each other. Be the mass transit, passing wisdom and hope from one generation to another. Trust in the reality that your work will bring about the change that you intend. Hope is a bond between you and your actions. That which we hope for, we make goals for, we strive for, we come alive for. You are the difference between this reality and the next. A main thoroughfare to fairness, the best version of ourselves and society. Whether your way is quietly or out loud, proud, as long as you are on the road moving justice to the next mile marker. Be the truth, the light, the hope in hopes that we will all act now.